Dear friends, all the best to you, and we know that you're praying all the best for the United Methodist Church. I'm standing here now adjacent to a throng of Episcopal colleagues, all of whom are robed and vested as we prepare to go in for the opening service. Blessings and peace. Look forward to seeing you online tomorrow. On behalf of all of your bishops, active and retired, I greet you in the strong name of the living God who has been disclosed in the life and pilgrimage of Israel and in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Dear friends in the West Ohio Conference, I greet you again in the name of the Lord. And I want to begin by thanking you for your love, your support, your encouragement, and your response to the enormous opportunity that I had to share in the life of the General Conference through giving the Episcopal Address. I want you to know that I could not have done it without your prayers and your best wishes and your spirit of encouragement. So I thank you and Cynthia and I together want you to know how much we love you and how much we feel loved and cared for. We're now day two into the life of the General Conference and we're still getting our bearings, but the legislative committees have been organized. Um, people from West Ohio Conference uh, are sharing in leadership, some in legislative committees, some being nominated to other committees of the General conference to help it do its work and other people have been nominated on to ongoing bodies like the Judicial Council etc and you can read about all of that uh, in the online versions of the Daily Christian Advocate but most of all I feel the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the general conference in spite of the slow going early on because everyone is trying particularly through the worship and the preaching to point toward the primary mission of making disciples of Jesus Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world and saying therefore go. So I want to say to you that what's going on here is important, but what you're doing in your local community for that mission is of paramount importance. Keep going. Don't wait till we come home for you to go out and make more disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. I look forward to the next opportunity to visit with you through this medium. God bless you.